Welcome lads to the wee Dremor ruin, I say we, it's a rather massive Dremor ruin called Fulpazar, located next to the Waterstone and south of the White Ridge Borough, also very close to Frostmoon Crag and uh, near Damphall Mine. Now, guarded by a few reeklings, although they're the least of your worries here. Uh, have we looked through their huts? We hut on the right hand side. And then coming up to this wee ledge, another reekling, and here you have a chest, a few items in it, and we fire and faith. Now, now we get into the good stuff. This place took me a solid 30 minutes to work out the first time, because obviously I haven't played this game in an awful, awful long time. But this place uh, might disorientate you the way it sort of, it's like, yeah, yeah, the... the it kind of got me a little stooped the first time I came in. But there's wee wriggling. Sort him out. There's a few more books sitting about for your house if you're looking at it. More huts. And now, now we get into the real thing. So. First things first. Trap. But I'm going to trigger most of the traps just so you can kind of see what happens. It's one of them ones. Instant, instant death pretty much few wriggling hunters that have been plastered by arrows so you kind of know what you've what you've signed up for at this stage a wee button here that you can press and just causes all out carnage as, as per usual or more accurately just close that door I think that button's just kind of get to give you an idea of what's just about to happen so entering this room there's a wee novice door a dead wriggling and the door to continue into this place is locked now. What can we do about that? We can press all the buttons now. Most of these buttons activate traps and only one of them opens the door. I think this is the one that opens the door. Nope. There you go. So, for anyone wanting to speedrun this, press that button, opens the door. Pressing every single button as fast as humanly possible activates electric traps, activates spiders, spinny blades of death, just absolutely everything to just slice and dice it. We chest in here, but ooh, still plates of warning frost. That wasn't here last time, that actually didn't have that much last time, so pretty good. Take the items and uh, remember it's the second one to the left, so, or second one to the right, that one there. Continuing on, this, this place basically, uh, you know, that should be a wee bit of a, a sign of things to come, because there's a lot a lot of puzzles here. Oh, we had that locked chest. I'm I'm a pretty. Uh, I was gonna say I'm pretty good at, at, at doing these locks, but evidently some more practice required. Ah, oh, come on! I can do this. I can do this. There we go. Holy sh sheesh! All the sapphire and all. Okay, make sure you crack that chest open, that'd be pretty, that's pretty decent. Moving on, we have quite a few things in here, lads, to uh, to have a wee nosy at. Now, these things should be a very, very good reminder as to what most of this place is about. So, you will need a, ideally, oh, where's my bone arrow? Oh, my bone arrow is not here. Well, I'll show you what to do without a bone arrow. Just smack it. It spins up. There's an expert chest right there on the wall. And we will carry on. Load the spiders of the explosive kind. Is there anything behind here? I never actually checked last time. Uh, and the answer is no. Just some white caps and no chest or anything. Nope. You can never be too sure, lads. You can never be too sure. Moving your way on round. There's another one of these machines. It's sometimes a bit hard to see, so you have to cut through all the uh, cobwebs. And then smack it. Just like that. That'll open this next door. Continuing on into the depths of Fall Bazaar. We're... Almost, almost where this place really opens up. So, the chest located in this wee side room. There's some robots that are going particularly mad. You don't have to kill them to advance into the next location, but 
you'll definitely be fighting quite a few Dwemers. And like all major Dwemer runes, it opens up into this sprawling, sprawling complex. Now, there is a awful, awful lot to be seen. You can go into the water and check, lads. I haven't actually been swimming too much in this place, but I will show you how to get to the final treasure room. So, jumping across, these wee guys will pop out at uh, at all times. Uh, anytime you see one of them, they will more than likely jump out at you. The first place we come to is the Falpazar Corridor. This opens up the uh, upper levels. There is a ballista that will fire if I if I cross. What What is the trigger for this? I don't think there is a trigger. Oh, there they are. Right, so you'll get hit by the ballista. An explosive one by the looks of it. That's gonna hurt. And then you'll get just hit by that by another trap. See, I'm just walking through, taking these right on the chin. There's a chest in there behind this adept lock gate and loads of just Dwemer uh, items. I will uh, let just unlock that. And have we nosy in there? Another sphere guarding the place. Continuing on through, there's a particularly nasty puzzle later on that uh, took me a while to figure out, but not to worry. These valves control the uh, bridges, which if you fall down just means getting back up will be much easier. Pull that lever, we'll twist this round and we will be advancing on. Let's see. Now, from this point, another Dwarven Ballista. From this point, jump down right to here. You'll find a Bone Mold Shield, a Dwindling Shock and some coin purses. Because some explorers did actually uh, come here before us. Uh, we are across. The first named explorer, Eldis, or Edis. Let's have a wee read of the journal. Because we all, we all love reading up on these things. Okay, so, I finally caved and told him that I would help him retrieve this visage of Mizun. That he has been so obsessed over why he wants some dwarven helmet is beyond me, but I owe him. I owe him. So whatever. We've stopped to take a breather after crossing over the gears. This place seems amazing, but it seems to serve no purpose that I can tell. Why the doors would waste so much good metal and gears, pipes, and constructs is completely beyond me. We had to fight off several of the metal spiders while spinning around the gears. Got so dizzy we almost fell off. And obviously she did not make it much further than this point. So, the Felt Bazaar Boilery, a place that uh, a lot of people may be familiar. It may even give some PTSD to uh, some veterans because uh, even for myself, this puzzle, this puzzle got me good. It got me good. So you could continue there, but I'm just gonna show you a rather fun way to make it up here. For these to drop, and up we go, and over to this one, and up we go. Oh, jump! There we go. Already, we dwarven spider, and you'll find Uln. Let's have a read of Uln's journal. He has some kite armor, and he's also got a bow that you uh, you may want to use if you want to complete this we uh, puzzle quite easily. Let's have a read. Edis is dead back on the gears to hold off those metal monsters, but she hasn't shown up, so I'm going to press on hope for the best. Unfortunately, my progress has been blocked by a gate I can't pry open. Following the pipes, it appears that this gate is controlled by the large boiler. I'm going to try and shoot the resonators with an arrow to see if that opens the gate. Now, this is actually a very simple puzzle. I firstly thought, like many of you, I had to hit this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one with a bow, which is extremely difficult. And I must say, like, you could, it's very difficult to do all six. And even when you do, the sixth one doesn't go off. And this one just, it triggers this. And I was like, ah, I must be doing something wrong. So, turns out the puzzle actually only requires you to hit this one. This one, and for the video, this uh, wasn't gonna spin off. So the far left one, the middle one on the left, and then the middle one on the right here. 
that will, I think just the way each of these have a different value to this, it will complete it. Unlocking the door, which is round there. Now, just below us, be sure to have we nosy at uh, the two chests located here. I think you've only a limited amount of time to run to the door, or the door is open permanently from this point. I'm not sure, but if you hit an additional one, it'll just trigger loads of traps and enemies to appear. So, uh, far left, the middle one on the left, and then the uh, middle one on the right. There you go, that opens some metal doors there. And allows us to proceed. From this point, we'll pull the lever. Pull the lever, Kronk. And uh, you can go hit that valve, which will drop the bridges, giving you another point up. Uh, jumping onto there, that island, I think at the other side we will see a skeleton. And you can go and loot that wee island, but let us jump over here. Another ballista to be wary of, and a expert lock chest, I believe. No, uh, no lockpick required. Ooh, necklace of extreme death hands. Nice. And a flawless sapphire. Little of these doohickeys. Let's just smack them. We skeleton here with a... Now, this has spawned twice now. So, let me have a look. A Stalham Bow of Delipilation. Does 20 points of stamina damage. Nice. So I think, I think I tried to make this jump and it just did not work last time. Ah, uh, shite. Oh, and I didn't drop them. Oh. Well, lads, that's why you drop the bridges. Because then I could have just walked up here. I'm not going to do the entire journey because I have just a slightly simpler way to just no clip. Which enables me to show you what is on this island. We skeleton and an expert lock chest. It's on the skeleton. Gold and ooh, apothecary's satchel. Nice, nice, nice. So, oh, and for anyone thinking over here, there isn't anything. So, once you pull that leather or lever over there, or no, I say pull the lever, once you hit that and it changes over, go back up the bridge back up round and you'll be able to march your way straight to the Great Hall. Let's go. Valpazar Great Hall. Now, in here is where things get interesting, but I'm going to turn the no clip back off. Because I don't need it. Now, I remember in... See, I, I did this backwards. I actually ended up doing uh, Kagrimez first. But this is the place that once you do Falpazar, then you would go to the likes of Nicardek, and then you would go to Tilman 3 and get all the resonance to do the, the Gauntlet of Kagrames. I commented that there was no uh, Dwarven Masters in Kag Kagrames. So I definitely got my wish of wanting to fight more of them. Now, they dropped dynamos, right? Like this one. Now, there's one already here, a Dymo Actuator. There's one in him. There's one in him. Now, don't be silly and attack both of them at the same time. Obviously, you just want to attack one. And then you take out the second one. Now, I'm not going to do that because these guys are absolute menaces to take down. <laughs> so, I'm going to just kill both of them pretty, pretty handily. So we can just take the actuators off them. Or, well, they're dynamo core. As it's called. And we're going to go up here and we're going to supply them. Now, I think if you kill them, they drop as a general item. So if you already had to, you might not even have to fight them too. Or they only drop here. I wish I'd checked that. But, regardless, you now have three. And it opens up everything here. The gates, the stairs. And now we're into the treasure room, the final place. Now, pal of gold, there's a chest open, grand soul gem and madness ore. 
more gold, gold, an ebony battle axe and a Kagrames resonance gem. Very, very important that you pick that up for uh, it gets you into the Kagrames uh, gauntlet, which gets you also lots and lots of treasure. So uh, make sure to pick one of these up. And then the Visage of Mizun. Now let's have a wee look at this boy. Because if I'm near sure I know exactly what this one does. I, I didn't pick it up in the uh, test run. Increases your stamina and allows the word to release the Breath of Nuzak. A powerful steam attack. Other than that, it's just a pretty cool dwarven helmet. And every battle axe. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then I believe that's this place done and dusted. You open this and it takes us back to the surface or nearby. Oh, no. Another lever to be operated. Haha. And we're right here and we can, we can simply just walk down the steps. And we have we have done it. Where does it actually put me on the map? South of uh, Falpazar. But yeah, we got the cleared and that's that location done dusted. So, thank you so much for watching, lads. Hopefully you've enjoyed the content. If you want any information on any of the surrounding areas, be sure my uh, top ones will probably damp hole mine if you want loads of gems. It's a Reaver Stronghold now. Uh, Kagrames, if you get all the resonance gems. But uh, for that, have a look at uh, my Nakardak. Uh, video and my tell minthril video to get all the the gems the resonant gems to do the gauntlet to get the treasure so yeah that's this place done and dusted as remember are definitely some engineers and that was some puzzling puzzles but we've done it we've got through it and i will see you all in the next episode thank you so much for watching i'll see you then bye